This is somewhat of a thrown together video because I felt like the sooner people knew about the existence of this mod, the faster its benefits could be enjoyed. We all know that the PC port of Iceborne was extremely shaky at the beginning, to say the least, and continues to be weighed down in many ways. Today we have a mod that will remove some unnecessary code and help to put less strain on your CPU. So first what we're going to do is go to nexusmods.com slash monsterhunterworld. The performance mod will most likely be right on the main page, but if not, then search for a performance booster and plug in extender. Now this mod is going to require another mod to already be installed called Strackers Loader. Chances are you probably already have this loaded in if you use mods period, but if you don't have this installed, go ahead and go to the Strackers Loader page and it has a nice and simple installation guide and it's going to be very similar to what we're doing with the performance mod. Now we're going to go to the file tab of the performance mod page and go for the manual download. Next we'll We'll hit the slow download button and after it's done, we'll head to the download folder on our computer. After extracting that file we downloaded, we are going to navigate to our native PC folder for the Monster Hunter World game. We do this by going to our C drive, then to program files x86. Next we'll go to Steam, then to Steam Apps, Common, and of course we'll be going to Monster Hunter World. Now if you don't have a native PC folder already, you can just drag the native PC folder from our downloaded file right here. If you do have a native PC folder, go into it. Then we'll put the plugin folder from the downloaded file here. In my case, I already had a plugin folder from another mod, so I just put the CRC mod into it, and that's it. Now you can enjoy Iceborne without having it unnecessarily suck up huge amounts of your CPU. I know that I've already seen such a difference in performance, and something I noticed right away as well was that my computer's fan was much more quiet than before and not working nearly as hard, which is also a clear sign of a less bloated performance. Now, I am for sure not the type of person that knows a lot when it comes to computers, software, or hardware. I'm pretty middle of the pack on all of those things, but the GOAT asterisk ampersand gave a quick little TLDR in the description. It says that the mod improves the game performance by removing swaths of extremely unoptimized code that is ultimately irrelevant to the game functioning, also enables more advanced plugins to run properly. The performance gain is most noticeable on CPU-constrained systems, given the atrocious multi-threaded code the game runs on. Almost everyone is CPU-constrained unless they are using a Threadripper. Works by removing the unnecessary CRC code, which repeatedly checks in-game memory region for bit errors. However, as this regions are never touched and the game just crashes when an error in the region is detected, making error detection ultimately pointless, this code is entirely unnecessary and just detriment to performance given it's done repeatedly and checks for around 250 kilobytes regions 32 times per rotation. It's a massive waste of CPU usage. The plugin has been tested to be stable up to 20 consecutive hours of playtime. Confirmed to be stable for that long, probably will be much longer and even indefinitely. So there you have it. The God Modder has handed us a much smoother Iceborne experience, and if you're grateful like I surely am, you should consider becoming a Patreon of Asterisk Ampersand or do as I did and donate to them directly through PayPal. But that's going to be it for this one. Patreon and Discord links are in the description below, so feel free to join our Discord community. If you liked this video or it helped you out, let me know with that thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and ask, and hopefully myself or someone else will be able to help you out. Subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already for more Iceborne, Monster Hunter, and other gaming content. I'll see you guys in the next video.